Hi guys, my name is Yelena and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I crumb coat, put together and crumb coat my cakes. So I'm gonna use my board that I've wrapped and I showed you in the other video. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. Alright, so I have my cakes already baked and they cooled off enough for me to handle. Usually how my cakes are baked, I don't have really hump on them, so I don't see how they're pretty flat, so I don't need to worry about level them. So what I do, just flip first one right on the board. Make sure you center it on the board. Make sure it's nice and center. Okay. Put your icing. And put your icing enough, of course, so you see the icing between the layers, but don't put too much because then you have a chance it will start bulging from the sides and it's not gonna look pretty. So go ahead, put your icing and go ahead, spread it with your spatula. Like so. So I have nice even layer all around. Okay. Then I'm gonna put my second layer. All the cakes I do, unless it's a sheet cake, they all three cake layers inside. I like it that way. It's easier than bake two big fat layers. I feel like a big smaller size cake, so they bake faster and it's not over baked. And see, I didn't put it straight, so go ahead and straighten it out. Make sure it's nice, even. Go ahead and push it from the top so it kind of sticks to itself. Okay. So at this point, I'm done touching the cake so I can take my gloves off. And let's crumb coat our baby. So take a little icing at a time. spread icing. Crumb coat cake, it's just exactly what that is, a crumb coat. So at this point of cake life, you don't need to worry about how pretty it is. Um, you don't worry about that the cake sees through. All we do right now is evening our cake out. We sealing the crumbs. done we're gonna put it in the fridge to cool off a little bit so that way when we're ready to ice for the final icing it will be easy for us to handle it all right so see what I do so spread your icing very thin all around just enough so all our crumbs seal all the way from top to the board so you don't have any cake exposed because if there's some cake exposed it will dry out nobody wants dried out cake but that's all I do right now just make sure it's all covered Just 
suelta. So, so you see the cake peeking through. Up right here and I'm gonna put it on the refrigerator for three to four hours or until if you touch it a little bit from the top the cake will feel cool and kind of not as spongy squishy so it will be co cold cake inside it will, it will stiffen up a little bit all right that's all for today thank you for watching this little short video and just make sure don't forget to sign up to my videos like this videos give me a thumb up and click a bell for notifications so you don't miss my next video and see you next time bye